Chag Sameach, happy holiday. We are so delighted that you have decided to join us, our community, our movement, in this wonderful, joyful celebration of Simchat Torah. We are joined by artists sharing some original repertoire, as well as familiar melodies to celebrate and dance with our Torahs, wonderful stories and learning, and of course, hearing the end of our Torah and the beginning of our Torah once again, the celebration of our sacred story and our journey that continues. So have a wonderful celebration and enjoy. Hey, my friends, my name is Noah Aronson, Shana Tova, and I hope that your holidays are sweet and uh, filled with renewal and a sense of hope and positivity for where this year could potentially lead us. Uh, I want to send a offering out for a new way of framing the text of Kimitsion Teitse Torah. So the literal translation of this is that Torah emerges from Zion, Mitzion. Uh, and I love thinking about how do we maybe think of that word mitzion and see the relationship with the word mitsuyan, which means excellence. And so what if from excellence is where Torah emerges from, from when we are fully stepped into our, our power, when we're fully communicating from our place of excellence, when we do everything from that place of, I want to try my best and do my best and be my best, that is when our Torah can emerge. Kimitzion Teitse Torah.
stumble, I fall. We're not that separate at all. In your danger, I fear so far apart and yet so near. When I'm searching for what's right.
to tell you a story about stories. It is said that when the Baal Shem Tov was in need of a miracle, there was a particular ritual he followed. He went to the woods to meditate. And after his meditation, he lit a fire and recited a special prayer. And at the conclusion of this ritual, the miracle he sought came to fruition. Later, when his disciple, the Magid of Mezrich, was in need of a miracle, he too followed this ritual, except he had forgotten an important detail, such that when he went to the forest, he cried out to the divine, Master of the universe, I don't know how to light the fire, but I know the special prayer. And that was sufficient. The miracle he sought came to fruition. Later, when Rabbi Moshe Lieb of Sassoff was in need of a miracle, he too followed this ritual, except he forgot a few more details, such that when he went to the woods, he cried out to the divine, oh, master of the universe, I don't know the special prayer, and I don't know how to light the fire, but I know the place, and that must be sufficient. And it was. Now, when Rabbi Israel of Risen was in need of a miracle, he didn't even bother going to the forest. Instead, he sat in his armchair, head in his hands, and cried out to the divine, Oh, master of the universe, I don't know the special prayer. I don't know how to light the fire. I don't even know where to go in the woods. But I know the story, and I can tell the story, and that must be sufficient. As vessels of our tradition, we carry our songs, our texts, our liturgies, our stories with us, and we're engaged in the business of telling them in all sorts of ways. And while we may never know the mountains they move or the miracle they provoke, we tell them anyway. May the stories we tell and the ways we tell them this year, next year, and the years to come continue to be sufficient. Shana Tova. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, Venatan Lanu et Tarato, Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Hi everyone, my name is Eliana Rubin and I am so happy to be joining you during the Simchat Torah. 
We've reached the end of another year. We've reached the end of another reading. In this final portion, Moses ascends a mountain, looks out into the promised land, and passes away before his community. The Israelites mourn him for 30 days. Now, we are in our second year of COVID. This is our second High Holy Days within the pandemic, and so it's both unfamiliar and familiar. There's newness and there's something that might be a little bit residual from years past. Much like the Israelites took time to process, we should also be taking time to process those that we've lost, whether it's loved ones or experiences. No one plans for things like this. But what we can do is we can take care of ourselves. We can support each other like the Israelites did after Moses' passing. Because once the Israelites entered into the promised land, they did so, ready to do so. They were ready to move forward. They weren't necessarily moving on. They were keeping Moses' memory in their hearts. But they knew what they had to do. So as we continue on, and as we finish up our reading of our Torah for this year, let's do so with clear hearts, minds, bodies, and souls. Velo kam navi od be Yisrael kemoshe, asher yedo Adonai panim el panim, lechol haotot vehamavtim, asher shelacho Adonai, la asot be eretz mitzrayim, lefaro ulcho avadav ulcho artso, ulcho hayad hachazaka, ulcho hamora hagadol, asher asa moshe. Le'ene kol Yisrael. We join together. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. Bereshit bara Elohim, et ha-shamayim ve'et ha-aretz, v'ha-aretz, hayet ha-tohu v'avohu, Vichoshech al pene te hom, Viru achelohim, Merachefet al pene ha maim, Vayomer elohim, Yehi or, Vayehi or, Vayar elohim, et ha or, Kitov, Vayavdel elohim, Bain ha or, Uvain ha choshech, Vayikra Elohim, La or, Yom, Vila choshech, Kara la la, Vayhiere, Vayhi voker, Yom echad. The story of creation is more than astrophysics. Every day is a moment of renewal. The Torah tells us in the book of Genesis, light spilled out of darkness, waters were gathered together, land appeared and vegetation sprouted, living beings emerged and started to crawl and to swim and to fly and to walk. And God rested and God saw that the world was good. We just read this powerful text from a 270-year-old Torah scroll, which was rescued from the Holocaust. And the scroll, as well as the story, have messages for us of resilience and courage in the face of hardship and uncertainty. And on this Simchat Torah, we remind ourselves that we can be the ancestors that future generations need us to be. We take the lessons of the Torah and the materials of creation And we can have the strength and fortitude to build a world of promise and potential in partnership with God and one another. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, v'chaye olam natah betochinu. Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha Torah. This is Hamilton Airport. ancestors and to our history, we are reminded that we have always been a people of strength.
everybody, happy holidays. We're out on the road here with our band and brand new baby Willow, wanting to wish all of you the happiest of New Year's and all the holidays. And we out. wish you so much love and peace and joy and all good things this year. And we hope you enjoy our song on and on, the door by door. Love you. All. Love you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Wow, what a meaningful and joyful celebration that was. We are grateful to our artists and clergy and educators, storytellers and teachers who shared their gifts with us as we celebrate Simchat Torah. We can't all be together in person, but the chance to continue to tell our stories and to celebrate is ongoing wherever we are. So we wish you Chag Sameach, Happy Holiday, and a Shana Tova. May it be a year of sweetness, of hope, and of joy.